and as you are aware, the ministry and the government is really focused on modernizing our transmission infrastructure through uh, Ketraco. A number of projects are lined up, some are basically in progress in terms of ensuring that our evacuation and transmission uh, process is cost effective, is efficient. Okay? Again, working with the Kenya Power Lighting Company in terms of, uh, of modernizing uh, the distribution infrastructure. We are clear in our minds that uh, once we do all of this, okay, we shall be in a position to deliver power to Kenyans at affordable rates. Some of these blackouts uh, emanate from the infrastructure uh, that we have, okay, along the chain. And one, once we make this improvement that we are making, uh, it will go along with addressing that. But more importantly, because technical hitches do happen, and they are bound to happen from time to time. What we are doing as a ministry, together with our entities that are concerned, is to ensure that if and when such an eventuality happens, that we have a blackout, that we respond to the situation as fast as possible. Currently, we have a moratorium which has been imposed by Parliament on new PPS. We are working closely with Parliament to have it lifted for good reasons, that we need uh, more power to be generated to spur our economic development. I must also appreciate that in terms of the tariff, Kenyan continues to deliver the, 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 the least expensive power to the national grid, okay? And that basically therefore means that going forward, even as we encourage other players in, in the generation sector, as a government, it is incumbent upon us that we continue to support Kenyan for 